Good morning, sir. I am Arun. What can I do for you? We need to purchase some garden tools for our institution. Oh, sure, sir. I will explain in detail about the available garden tools and their use. First, let's see a few implements used for preparation of land. This is a mould board plow. It can open a furrow of about 20 cm. Mould board plow is a tractor operated implement and it consists of share point, share, mould board, land side, etc. The working of the plow is controlled by hydraulic system of the tractor. There are four different types of share used for the mould board plow, such as slip share, slip nose share, shin share, and bar point share. Plow button is the actual part of the plow. The other type is two-way or reversible plow. The two-way plow have the advantage that they have neither upset the slope of the land nor leave the dead furrows or back furrows in the middle of the field. The third type is turn rest plow. There are some reversible plow which have single button with an arrangement that the plow button is changed from right hand to left hand. This is a disc plow. It has moving circular discs of varying size. This plow can work well in sticky soils. Disc plow, generally used for deep tillage of land to help turn over the upper layer of the soil, bringing fresh nutrients to the surface while burying weeds and remains of the previous crop. The disc plow employs round, concave discs of hardened steel, sharpened and sometimes serrated on the edge. It reduces friction by making a rolling bottom in place of a sliding one. The disc plow is designed to work in all types of soil for functions such as soil breaking, soil raising, soil turning and soil mixing. It is used to open the new field and to process the stony areas. It can be used easily at rocky and rooted areas. This is a harrow which is used for finer operations such as breaking clothes, pulverization of soil during land preparation. In agriculture, a harrow is an implement for breaking up and smoothing out the surface of the soil. In this way, it is distinct in its effect from the plow, which is used for deeper tillage. Harrowing is often carried out on fields to follow the rough finish left by plowing operations. The purpose of this harrowing is generally to break up clouds and to provide a finer finish, a good tilt or soil structure that is suitable for seed bed use. Next, we can see the cultivator, which is also used for finer operations. Soil cultivators are popular farming equipment used for mechanical weed control. There are various types of soil cultivators. Some of them are more appropriate for pre-emergence weeding, while other types enable the post-emergence cultivation. A cultivator is an agricultural equipment used for secondary tillage. A cultivator is a farming or gardening tool that breaks up soil and removes weeds in rows where plants are growing or will be grown. So these are the tools and implements we have at present. Hope you got an idea about the tools you need to buy. Okay, Arun, now show us some other tools used for various horticultural operations. This is the bill hook. What is bill hook? 
Is it very useful for gardener and farmer? See its curved blade? It is commonly used for cutting big trees. The handicraft medium-sized bill hook is an absolutely essential tool for every gardener and farmer to free their land from unwanted weeds, shrubs, branches, and thick woody vegetation. Now let me show an equipment used for budding and grafting operations. This is the budding come grafting knife. It has two knives, one for budding and other for grafting. Budding and grafting can be perfectly done by using this knife. A budding knife is the tool used by horticulturists to create a budding or graft union in plants. We sometimes use it in the floristry industry because it is a precision tool and is safer to use than a knife. The grafting knife has a straight edge. The budding knife has a curved edge and a blunt end for opening the bark and inserting the bud. This is a very important tool for horticultural operations, the secateurs. It is mainly used for cutting small branches, disbudding, cutting cyan sticks, removing leaves from cyan sticks, and other such horticultural operations. Have a flat metal plate or serrated anvils which grip the stem more firmly. Hedge shear is also a very important tool for horticultural operations. It has two sharp blades with tanks. It is used for trimming and pruning hedges and shrubs in the desired shape. Working edge is sharpened for clean and accurate cutting and handles are made of wood to ensure better grip and comfort. Next is the spade, which is a very common tool used in field operations. It is used for digging and turning over the soil making buns and channels in the field. In gardening, a spade is a hand tool used to dig or loosen ground or to break up lumps in the soil. Next, we can see the rake, which is used for removing stubbles and small stones. This type of rake is a multi-purpose rake that most homeowners with a backyard will have kicking around somewhere in their garden shed. A garden rake will have a long and straight handle with a stiff, wide head at a right angle to the handle. Kurpi is a small tool used for weeding and lifting of seedlings in the nursery and for transplanting plants in pots. Kurpi is a short-handled cutting tool with a flat blade. It is commonly used in small farms or in ridges or rows of vegetables to hoeing or earth up the weeds. It is traditionally used with a scorching posture. Watering can is a very useful tool for watering seed beds. Irrigating using watering can will help to avoid washing of soil and damage of young seedlings. A watering can is a portable container that allows gardeners to water plants by hand. It can be your perfect companion in taking care of. Next, I will show you the pruning saw. It is used for cutting thicker branches of plants. A pruning saw is a tool with the same sharp teeth as saws used for cutting lumber. But pruning saws are intended for trimming live shrubs and trees. How many types of pruning saws are there? There are many types of pruning saws, each intended for a particular type of branch or stem. All types of pruning saws should have hard point, heat treated teeth, but they come in different sizes and shapes. Pruning garden plants makes them look more attractive, also can increase the health and productivity of flowering or fruiting shrubs. Wheelbarrow is a very much essential tool for moving heavy things from one place to another. A wheelbarrow is a compound machine that is popularly used to carry heavy loads. It has two simple machines, the wheel and axle and the lever that helps to make the load lighter and simpler to move around. Wheelbarrows are used for a variety of things, such as moving rock, mulch or compost to the garden, moving trees or large shrubs from one spot to another, hauling bricks, disposing of garden debris, or even for mixing concrete or fertilizers. Next, let's see the hand cultivator. It is used for loosening the soil without damaging the roots in the nursery. A hand cultivator is a gardening tool that is used to turn the soil when you plan on planting and for removing weeds. In small flower or vegetable gardens, it can also be used like a small plow to dig the planting rows. 
Now we can see the tree pruner. This is used for pruning branches of trees which are beyond reach from ground level. A tree pruner is used to cut tree branches and stems that are hard to reach and this can be done without a ladder with this tree pruner. In its most basic form, a tree pruner is simply a type of cutting tool attached to a long pole. There are also pole saws that use a chain type cutting blade for even larger branches. The last one is flower scissor. It has two short blades with handles. It is used for cutting the stem of flowers. Thank you Mr. Arun for good briefing about this subject. Thank you.